Hello, I'm Dimitri Lag. Welcome to this introductory uh, video uh, for Cloud Compare for Earth Sciences and Environmental Point Clouds. This first video is about Cloud Compare, the project itself. Alors, Cloud Compare started in 2004 uh, at EDF uh, Research and Development during Daniel Gerardo Monto's PhD. And Daniel is really the man behind the magic. And in 2022, Daniel is still behind the development of Cloud Compare with the help of uh, many contributors. Cloud Compare became open source in 2009. It has a large community of users for different applications, civil engineering, earth environmental sciences, etc. It can use any type of 3D point cloud, airborne, terrestrial LiDAR, structure from motion, even sonar. It is uh, multi-platform, it works on Windows, Mac OS and Linux, and it is a core software with additional plugins developed by contributors uh, or, or, or organization. So Cloud Compare is really great for visualizing, processing any type of 3D point cloud, and it has a lot of file formats that you can use. It is specially tailored to compare point clouds, for instance, for measuring topographic change, volumes. It can also compute metrics directly on point clouds, uh, roughness, slopes, many, many metrics. It can also be used to create uh, nice 3D uh, visualization and uh, animation, such as this uh, small movie here. And it has advanced functions through plugins, such as uh, classification with Cook and Ipo. Um, but uh, Cloud Compare is really dedicated to point clouds. So if you have mesh, uh, it has basic meshing capabilities, but it's not really suitable for that. It can also create shapes, uh, shape lines, and raster for uh, GIS use. And it has also automated processing of a large number of point clouds through command line. And there is currently a development of support for Python integration. Our Cloud Compare is not optimal for visualizing very large point cloud that is larger than 500 million points. In that case, it's better to use Pot3, for instance. Or it's, it's really a 3D uh, processing software. So if you want to process 2D raster data, such as DM or satellite imagery, it's, de it's definitely better to use dedicated GIS software. Uh, a few hardware recommendations. Uh, if you intend to process small point clouds with uh, direct visualization such as 20, 30 million points. A standard laptop, ideally with a dedicated graphic card and at least 8 gigabytes of RAM will be enough. For large point clouds with visualization, uh, typically 100 to 200 million points, uh, you need a very large uh, uh, CPU uh, with a large number of cores in particular because CC is fully uh, uh, parallelized. Uh, you need a dedicated graphic graphic card, a gaming one uh, will be uh, uh, recommended with a large memory, 8, 12 gigabytes of memory. And uh, you need a large um, RAM, at least 32 gigabytes and much bet uh, better, uh, larger will be better, sorry. Uh, and SSD drive for fast storage. And if you want to process large point cloud in batch mode without uh, the direct visualization and directly in command line uh, operation, then you don't necessarily need a graphic card, but you need a, a multi-core CPU and a, and a lot of RAMs. Uh, and this way you can operate a Cloud Compare uh, remotely on, on servers for really complex uh, series of operations. So finally, uh, Cloud Compare is a free software, but free as in free speech, not as in free beer. Uh, that means that uh, developing and maintaining the software is, uh, is never free. So uh, if you find that Compare is really useful for your work, first, don't forget to cite it, um, but also to contribute or donate to help uh, the development of the project. You can have and you can find many information on the dedicated website, the latest releases, a uh, link to uh, the code sources, a very detailed wiki, and also an active forum where you'll find a lot of uh, uh, information. That's it.